Hello and welcome back and this week I'm going to do something a little bit different. It is photography related. This here is my Mac Pro. I've had this 11 years. It's got two Xeon processors in the bottom of it here. Two 6 cores, so it's about 12 cores, got 48 gigs of RAM. Yeah, loads of specs, but basically this has been my workhorse for about 11 years. And unfortunately, it has given up the ghost. If you like to learn and be inspired, join me on a quest of creativity. Explore film, alternative processes and digital. Please subscribe and hit that notification button to get the latest videos every week. So I'd like to make a disclaimer before we start. It's not an easy thing to make a Hackintosh. Now I didn't get any sponsors, there is no endorsements here. All the parts I bought with my own money and what you see in this video is basically what I've learned from the internet, from reading and going through the Open Core project. And if you want to do this, you're going to have to do this on your own and that's pretty much how Open Core is. And it's an exciting thing to do, but it requires a lot of time and energy to do it. Now, I had good success with it, um, but it may not be for you. It's no longer working and it costs a fortune to actually go and buy a replacement for this. So, I'm going to take it away. And I'm going to build something else. We're going to need a power supply. We're going to need a processor. And the processor we're going to use is a Xeon. No, it's not. It's a, an Horizon. An AMD Horizon. I'm not even going to do Intel. And, of course, we're going to need a motherboard. And this is an Asus, an Asus X570 Tough Gaming motherboard. Now, I'm not going to be gaming so much on this. It's got some great features on it. You can do overclocking on it. And I'm going to be putting some G-Skill RAM on this, 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, this is a 3900X processor. Oh, what is that? It's a 3.8 gigahertz base frequency. Oh, getting lots of technical stuff and 700 watt power supply. So what does this machine look like when it's finished? Let me go and get it. So, here it is. Let's just get rid of all that stuff that it's already built. And here is my Hackintosh. So, let's pull the lid off it here. We got a fan going, uh, which comes with the processor. So that was great. And it's not noisy. That's quite quiet. It's very quiet, actually. We got our four sticks around here, four gigs around. And I got my video card, which I used in my old Mac Pro, which I'll probably replace in the future. Uh, it's still a good video card. It's an Orex 580. Uh, I had to flash that to get this Hackintosh to work. So let's get on with building this. Now, the reason for this video really is to show that you can build such a machine on quite a budget if you're a photographer or a videographer and you want some real power and you don't want to spend a fortune. Now, I can do all my work on this, whether it be Linux, Windows, or in this case, Mac OS. Um, it's up to you. But to build one of these guys, dead simple. So let's get started. It's really been far too long since I've actually built a computer for myself. And this build really went well. It went so smooth. The motherboard just dropped into place, screwed it in. Then I put in my video card. Now my video card, which I've had for, I think about two years. I was trying to, you know, cut a few corners. The video card's still good. However, it really didn't play well in open core. So I ended up flashing that video card. And that's another story. Oh my. Uh, here I am rooting in the wires into the case, which was really a breeze, actually. It's got some Velcro strips here that you can just, you know, lock in the wires. And if you want to move them around, it's very easy. There's lots of ways to root the wiring in this case, which is super. I'm just getting the last screw in here, which I missed in the motherboard. But the case is wonderful. Uh, the motherboard's great. And the Ryzen chip, 
my goodness. The performance I got out of this chip was just incredible. I will show those benchmarks and the comparison between my old Mac Pro and this machine and what it can do. Here goes in the G-Skill RAM. I'm putting in 64 gigs of RAM, so 16 gigs per per slot in here. Now these are not just normal RAM uh, sticks, they're rated at 3600. If you're doing this yourself, ensure to set this in the BIOS, otherwise it will default to some slower speed. So pretty much everything's up and running. The AMD fan that came with the processor, um, with this RGB effect, yeah, okay, I'm not really... It looks great actually, to be honest. Um, and then the glass panel will go on here. But everything ran really well and put together really well. It was pretty much a breeze. Now putting the Mac uh, software the, using OpenCore, now that's another story. That took a number of days to put together. Um, now I put everything, if you're technically inclined to do this, everything's in GitHub. I have all my instructions in there. But building the machine, dead easy. Putting the software on, that's another story. Okay, I'm booting up my my self-made Hackintosh on my ASUS X570 motherboard with my XFX or X580 AMD video card. Um, I've still got my menu here enabled and I've still got the Verbus running so it gives you an idea of what's going on in the background and it gives you a chance to see if there's any problems or errors and in my case everything seems to be working fine and it boots up relatively fast I'm sure I can do a few more tweaks in that that it's not in the debug mode but you see there it goes it's working really nice So I'm just going to concentrate on the multi-score here and this is my original dual, dual quad core and then we're going to go up to a six core dual and that's what I upgraded. So it's 24,693. So let's do the Horizon Tosh. Let's see where we get with that. Wow, that just keeps going. 55,638. That's incredible. That's more than twice the speed of my Mac Pro. That's impressive. So if you've enjoyed this video and if you found it interesting, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe and hit that notification button. And I hope to see you on the next one. And maybe we do a, a Linux kind of thing uh, for videographers and photographers out there. If that would be your thing, why not put a comment down below and maybe I'll do that video because I kind of want to do something with Linux Mint and Pop! OS and maybe Linux Arch Linux as well um, because there's definitely a subject there for photographers who really want to move away from, you know, from the big ones like Apple uh, and Microsoft uh, and just be that free spirit and that's what kind of Linux does. And as creative artists, we're kind of like that, aren't we? So. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell and hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye.